All right, we're back with the stock 136, still with the same pulley ratio as the 139. That's a 1.53, and uh, we'll go ahead and make a hit and do some comparison. So this is just direct bolt-on. We haven't changed anything in the engine. to our screen. You can hear where it starts uh, really starts coming on really strong all of a sudden. So you can definitely hear the uh, where it starts coming into a sweet spot. Um, let's do this. What we'll do is we'll look at the numbers first and then we'll bring up the stock 139 and then the uh, modified 139. Um, Let's start at 5,000 at 1476, uh, 12 pounds or 13 pounds of boost. Um, we're because we've already gone over all the pre and boot or pre and post. We're just going to focus on the intake manifold because that's what we have recorded for the uh, stock 139. So we know that there's restriction here. We've already determined that in the intercooler and in the pipe. So all we're going to look at is the boost numbers just to be uh, fair boost numbers and horsepower uh, 51476 uh, 5900 basically 6000 is 1865 at 18 pounds of boost right there it like uh, flicks a switch and starts turning on right about there um, we'll go right to 7000 which is 2354 oh, I'm sorry 2354 you can see right through here it just all of a sudden you, you could even hear it it's kind of loaded up hard and loaded up lower I'd leave the dyno at the same load settings and uh, could tell it's making less horsepower here at 5,000 without even comparing the numbers because it pulled it down to 4600 versus starting above 5,000 um, but like I said it turns on right through here and it starts sweeping fast and then the dyno catches it uh, 7,000 is a 2354 at 25 pounds of boost. Uh, 7577 is 2407 at 30 pounds of boost. So already, you know, we're peak. Peak power is already, you know, 500, 600 higher than what it is on 139. Uh, Continuing to go up, 7,700 is 24.23 at 30 pounds of boost. 7,800 is 23.91, and uh, basically 8,000 is 23.52. So it's making its peak horsepower at 7,700. You can figure out the ratio there. That's pretty much that's pretty darn close to 70,000 RPM on the blower, um, and that is at peak horsepower, peak uh, 30. 0.67 pounds of boost, but it made 32, 30, almost 33 pounds of boost at 8,000 RPM. So we're going to, uh, let me bring up the uh, other graphs here and we'll do a direct comparison on this versus the stock 139. And I got to remember which one it is. It's this one. Okay. Okay, this is actual horsepower difference. Interesting stuff. Uh, at 5,000 RPM, the one a stock 139 is 
uh, 127 horsepower better than this. So any negative numbers, this is the comparing between the stock 139 and the 136. It's 127 horsepower uh, down there, 6,000, it's basically 5,900, it's 138 horsepower down, two pounds of boost, and here, right through here, you can start hearing the thing start picking up. And then we start going positive, so at 7,000 RPM, so from 1,000 RPM, all of a sudden, it's like a two-stroke motorcycle, the thing starts getting efficient, and all of a sudden picks up 100 horsepower better than the stock. 157, 173, 240, and at 7,600 RPM, it's 348 horsepower better than the stock 139. Um, and at the same boost in the intake manifold. So that there is a, a pretty good efficient blower, no doubt about it. Um, then there's no reference because I didn't bother pulling the other blower up because it laid over so hard. Uh, but we see that it lays over somewhere around that 7700, 7800 RPM area anyways. So now let's go back and look at uh, versus the Provoluted 139. Okay, now this is the uh, fully modified 139 with the CNC uh, internals and bell. Uh, so that's what we're comparing this to, to the stock 136. So 5,000, we're down 145. 7,000, we are down uh, 80. 7,100, we're down uh, 60. Well, we can see right through here at 6,000, we're down 276 down 151, down 158 and upwards of 7600, 7700 and uh, above it's getting better than even the uh, full provoluted version of the uh, uh, 139 so if we look at a direct number we're at uh, uh, let's see here, our peak number with the 139 Provolute version was 2491 at 6900 and our peak horsepower with the stock 136 is 2423 at 7700 so definitely revving up so what we're going to do now is uh, we're actually gonna probably try throwing a, a bell on this thing and uh, we're, maybe we'll try our own internal modification and see if it works but uh, this thing is definitely pretty good so uh, we'll come right back alright now we have uh, done the 5 inch pipe you can see that there this stuff's all available from us guys but uh, this is uh, exactly the same as last pull We've just installed 5 inch pipe, 5 inch throttle body, and fabricated 5 inch elbow. So we will uh, go ahead and make our pull. inch tubing and what I'll do is I'll just go right straight to uh, um, oops let me get the camera fixed up here for you we'll just go right straight to uh, comparative from what the last pull was uh, 
Okay, we'll start all the way down at 5,000 RPM. At 5,000 RPM, we are almost two pounds of boost better thereabouts. 52 horsepower. If we go down to, we'll just skip down here, you can kind of see the numbers for yourselves. 6800 were 114 better. 6900 were 123 better with 5 inch pipe. This 5 inch pipe, I'm not going to go back and change and put the 139 on it and then go back and put the 123 Vortec on it. It's going to carry across because we're not losing. We're at, uh, uh, we'll go back and look at the actual numbers, but I mean, it, it gained the almost all of the 3 PSI pressure drop from the piece of tubing. So it's going to do the same thing in the other other blowers so whatever numbers we're adding here we're going to add to the 139 with the provolute options we're going to add to the 123 also um, 7000 or 91 these two numbers might be a little might be just a tick high I, I would fact I'd probably figure these a little closer to more like a hundred because this 136 man it's just like a two-stroke motorcycle the thing just it hits a sweet spot and then all of a sudden it just takes off so it really makes the dyno sweep fast here and then the dyno catches it right there so those numbers are probably just a tick high I'd figure them out at 100 uh, 91, 93, 75, 98, 71, 44, 58 and all the way up at 8000 RPM it's still 50 horsepower better um, actually I was probably pulling back on the throttle right there but pretty solid at the 78, 77, 2.2 pounds better, 2.4, 2, solid 2 pounds better just by going to uh, 5 inch uh, tubing. So with the F3136 uh, with the uh, uh, 5 inch tubing, you know, still spinning exactly the same rate. 7700, we're up to 2468. Uh, 2477, 2489, 2485, uh, etc. So, really nice piece. Uh, looks real good. So, we can also see here this is our post intercooler pressure ratings and, uh, you know, very minimal drop. We're looking at 20, here's 7,000, 2882, 27. So, one pound of drop. We've totally gained two pounds of boost back on the five inch piping. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go in here and uh, we are going to put the ProVolute bell on it uh, for anyone that's interested there and we'll come back and make our last pull. Okay, we are back with uh, 5 inch piping 136 with the uh, ProVolute bell. I'm working, I am going to be working on some internal modifications, but honestly, there's a lot less to do on this housing. So, uh, internals, um, I'm not 100% sure yet. So, we're going to uh, work on that. Again, we're not doing just clearancing. It's total CNC machining of the entire landing area of the blue. So, it's just not tightening up clearances. Uh, anyways, we're going to be working on a profile. I got one kind of started, and uh, we'll see if it makes any changes or any differences. But like I said, this is pr uh, pretty good. So there's a lot less room to uh, improve there. came on. So let's go look at it. Let me turn this off. Actually we'll still look at the numbers. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much done with flogging on this engine. We're sending it to Will and he can put it in the car. We get exactly what we needed to, to know off of it. And uh, <clears throat> right before the thing fell off. I just clamped it on real light and really I should have probably uh, put a little bit of uh, uh, sealer. But you can see the kind of vibrations, harmonics that come into these 
coming in these things when you were running them on the uh, um, with a slip-on bell versus the bolt-on bell. Um, but if you had that encapsulated into the front bumper of your car, like my car is, and probably use a little bit of uh, uh, seal or something to keep, keep it tight, you'd be pretty good. Um, 2617, 7300. I think right through here, if we probably look back, I, well, I know for a fact it had fallen off right through here, so <clears throat> it was, uh, uh, or at least separated quite hard. But I think we can tell really quite well right through there that, again, as it uh, RPMs more, you know, it picks up, uh, you're going you're gonna to pick up uh, boost. Yeah, let's see where we're at. Yeah, 30, 34 pounds of boost up there. Let's do a uh, comparison from the last pull without the bell. Yeah, right through this little sweet spot right there, it's another 159 horsepower better. That, I mean, you, uh, I got lots of theories on that. You guys can talk about it. Um, I can believe that. Down a little bit up there. Um, really started sweeping fast right through there, and I even I knew it was picking up power because I had just slowed the dyno right down, trying to get it to pick up some numbers here, and it really swept fast through there. So, I mean, we're 81, 89, 95, you know, these numbers right here, again, because it's starting to catch, might be a, maybe a tick high, but I'd, I'm, I'd say still a solid 125 horsepower better uh, with the bell. But that, what that's showing us is that it just does not like to roll air over that square edge. But anyways, uh, we'll give you our remarks. I would say that um, uh, the 136 is a good blower. Uh, if you don't have a blower... Uh, I would be getting a 136. Uh, if you already have a 139, can't afford to get into a new blower, spend the money with us on doing the uh, Provolute upgrades. You can see what that's all worth. But uh, the, the the Pro Charger 136 is definitely the best blower. Um, the 123 really surprised me. That's a really good blower also. I think you can add up all the numbers. Like I said, I'm not going to go back through and beat this engine up just to, to go back through. Uh, and test the five inch pipe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We can see what the five inch pipe did, uh, and it added to the 136. It's going to add to the 139, and it's going to add to the 123. So, anyways, looking real good. Looking forward to getting this in uh, uh, Will's car. And uh, everybody have a great day. God bless.